On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So now, my peeps, we are back on that same story. That story that has sparked outrage right across the length and breadth of Jamaica and also with Jamaicans in the diaspora the last of life of the eight-year-old child Daniel Rowe. Now on your screen is a composite sketch of the woman who the police believe to be the person behind the kidnapping and slashing of the throat of the young Daniel Rowe. The police garnered this sketch through the use of technology. So what happened, as I stated before, it's a composite sketch. So a person would have seen the woman in the company of Daniel Rowe and gave the police the description of the person that they saw. That information was placed in the computer and the computer generated a face from the description given so i've seen the comments where some people have said it's not look like a woman the face tough and jawbone look like jackass can and all kind of things and yes some people i take light of a certain serious situation but let us all gather our thoughts and try to figure out who this mystery woman really is now on your screen is a actual picture of the woman and the young Daniel Rowe leaving the Brayton Primary and Infant School in Portmore St. Catherine. This picture, if anyone knows this person from behind, because when you know somebody, you know, you literally know them, you know, you can know them from sideways, from behind, from any way, farm or shape that them present themselves, you know, you will know them. So look closely on this figure because this picture is an actual picture of them leaving the school compound. Now I have a very serious question to ask you, the regular members of Chan Public over there in Central Village. So I'm speaking to residents of Central Village, Zambia of Central Village to be more specific. I want you to listen to me keenly and respond to me by sending me a DM on Underspot News Media 876 on Instagram or Underspot News Media at gmail.com. Now, which one of you over there in Central Village Zambia community remember an incident some years ago of a lady where her head not Two hundred. You don't know them type of clean clothes, mad people, the type of thing where if you not directly know the person, you just see the person, you won't know say them head no screw on a hundred percent. Them about eighty five or seventy percent somewhere there. When you remember an incident that took place over Central Village Police Station some years ago, where the police them arrest a female and had her over the station. Her husband slash boyfriend at the time went over there and had an altercation with the police. And during that altercation, he ended up getting caught up and lose him three points on the compound of the Central Village Police Station. Now, anyone who recalls that particular incident needs to get in contact with me immediately. 
it has a lot to do with finding the perpetrator of the crime that took the life of that eight year old girl so i'm um, definitely depending on you to help us piece in this puzzle yeah man and still in the troubled war-torn crime riddled central village community the police then put on a decent spot of work over there monday night that a june 12th now on your screen is an ak-47 rifle which was seized in the windsor heights community of central village sometime about 10 40 pm on monday it is reported that the police officers were on operation when the firearm was found in bushes no arrest has been made in connection with this magnificent find However, officers are carrying out the necessary forensic and ballistic testing as investigations continue. So one more tall up tall, half of the streets. Yeah man, a decent spot of work again by the squad of them. So watch this now my peeps. On your screen is a little old dirty corner boy. He's from the community of Square in Central Village. I don't know who I'm making reference to from when I look on the face. He's known in the criminal underworld as Denardo. Now this criminal element answers to another criminal element among you members of the diaspora that goes by the name of Goffa. Now this criminal element here has been wreaking havoc in the central village community of Square for the last couple of months into a couple of years he has been doing a serious amount of atrocities we are talking about from Waldong and Tech is a known rape bull a boy will put gun in the people and girl pit in the face to go down and do oral on him now one of his latest casualties that incident took place in McBride Hill. Everybody definitely know of that particular incident. So I can't understand why residents of communities know about these atrocities that has been perpetrated on their family members, their children, and just sit there with these criminal elements and do nothing. This criminal element here definitely wreak havoc in the community and is also instigating war with the men from over elbow now this criminal element here has an accomplice now that particular rasta man you know yourself you have a son we are par with denado him and denado are create hell for the people of square and my granny always tell me say now anytime plot no one dead it do a yeah man so them shoot so a time you know so officer yeah man pick and team will most definitely be setting up camp in the central village community to see what they can uncover and see if they can seek and find the likes of denardo and his accomplice and also to the likes of the men from elbow who is his arch rival so nobody feel like say uno safe because uno an enemy. Him no safe, uno no safe. Officer Yeman pick and team at them. Yeman. So still in the troubled, war torn, crime riddled St. Catherine South Police Division, a knockings and clappings which resulted in the last life of a taxi man yesterday, just outside the school grounds of the Ascot Primary School over there in Portmore, St. Catherine. Now the police have launched an investigation into the knockings and clappings which resulted in the loss of life of a man sometime before 2 p.m. yesterday on Tuesday. It is reported that the now deceased man presently on your screen has only been identified as Russian, was traveling with a vehicle full of students when the unthinkable happened. Criminal elements alighted from a motor vehicle and start knock it and clap it upon him as he exited his motor vehicle students had to scamper away for cover 
as Russian was chased by these criminal elements and gone down in full view of the students. He fell and laid lifeless underneath a tree. So make a play for now, an audio clip of the actual events. You don't know we can't play the full clip on YouTube, but definitely you will get the audio clip so you can be like Michelangelo and paint the graphic imagery in your minds. So listen to what I go on. Yeah, man. So as you clearly heard my peeps in that audio clip, the frantic cries of some of the students who witnessed that brutal slaying of the taximan known as Russian. The good thing is my peeps, no reports of any injuries to any of the students. Now several taxi operators who gathered near the scene of the knockings and clappings lamented the loss of life of their colleague. One person stated that he was not a troublesome individual. The person also stated, and I quote, Now nah, vouch for nobody, but he's a youth where he keep himself to himself and him to play certain games. But then again, I could have any number play. But all me I say is a decent youth. Yeah, man. So, my peeps, investigations continues. Now over there in the troubled war torn St. Catherine North Police Division, we are talking about the Spanish Town section of St. Catherine right now. The St. Catherine North Police stated that a man was taken out in a hill of bullets along Brunswick Avenue in Spanish Town yesterday morning. But that man was also in the process of committing prayer larceny when he was taken out by a licensed firearm holder. The deceased man is presently on your screen and has since been identified as Johnny Bailey, otherwise known as Suku. He is said to be unemployed of a Taz Meadows address in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The official police reports suggest that the complainant was at home asleep when he was awoken by continuous barking of dogs. He went outside and reportedly saw two men trying to remove sheep from a pen. He called out to the men and one of them allegedly pointed a firearm at him. He reportedly took evasive action and fired four rounds from his licensed firearm. Both men ran and a search of the premises later revealed one of the men suffering from some serious carnop carnop wounds. The police was immediately summoned to that scene and the body removed to the morgue. <laughs> yeah man, decent spot of work by that licensed firearm holder. So my owner told Thief out a road there. The people them work so hard uh, by them livestock and on feel like on for just come with no little pro box or whatsoever means of transportation no use and just take the people them things just like that and leave people suffering more than how them are suffer already under the hands of the government. So I definitely encourage who can go get a licensed firearm once you are decent law-abiding citizen, especially if you're a business person, whether it be you have a wholesaler, shop, some animal arrays, whatsoever the case may be, if you can get a legal strap, get a legal strap because the entire Jamaica is under attack. Yeah man. So anyway my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.